Check in with First Alert Chief Meteorologist Paul Hagan. So fire danger will be on top of minds, especially come Monday yeah. when we hit those triple digits. Yeah, yeah temperatures are going to be yeah way up into the 90s Monday, and then the triple digit heat sticks around all the way through likely the 4th of July for many inland communities. Let's enjoy the nice June weather while it is still here. We'll keep an eye on that heat wave for you as we head through this weekend. We're going to be seeing a slow warming trend over the weekend. Temperatures will be slightly above average, but mostly within about 5 degrees of normal tomorrow. Hot inland beginning on Monday, but the heat really peaks beginning on Tuesday. Excessive heat watch is in effect from Tuesday all the way through Friday, and we're going to be seeing the likelihood of those triple digit high temperatures approaching record territory, which for inland parts of the Bay Area in early July is saying something. Let's switch perspectives. Take a look outside from San Jose, where temperatures this evening are still pretty comfortable. We have some low 90s out there. Concord and Livermore above 90 degrees, right at 90 in Livermore. In San Jose, it's 83 degrees, 69 degrees. Downtown San Francisco is 72 across the Bay in Oakland. If you're going to be heading out to the Oakland Ballers game this evening. We are going to be carrying that on our sister station picks plus temperature at game time at 635 is going to be in the upper 60s to around 70 degrees. Some of the fog and low cloud cover is going to start to reestablish itself, but I don't think it's going to be a major factor yet this evening, but temperatures are going to cool off. So make sure you bring a sweatshirt to throw on as the sun dips a little bit lower in the sky. So you're going to be heading out to Oracle Park to the Giants game as they take that take on that team from Southern California. We should see plenty of sun throughout most of the evening. Again, a little fog later. Temperatures though game time running in the middle portion of the 60s. First pitch is at 715 this evening. It is a fireworks evening at Oracle Park down to around 60 degrees already by 8 o'clock and then down into the upper 50s by the time those fireworks are taking flight. The fog is going to spread out. Reduce visibilities to begin the day if you're up early on Saturday morning, but you have to be up really early inland to see that fog. It's going to dissipate quickly backing up to the coast and coastal communities should see plenty of sunshine from late morning through the afternoon with even more of that in store for the second second half of the weekend as the weight of the atmosphere on top of us builds and suppresses that marine layer. Temperatures tonight dropping down mostly to the low to mid 50s. Some of the warmest spots in the upper 50s to around 60 degrees, but that is not bad at all for late June. And then high temperatures tomorrow, as I showed you a little earlier, everybody within a few degrees of average, about five degrees above normal for San Jose, mostly in the mid to upper 80s in the Santa Clara Valley, low to mid 90s for most inland parts of the East Bay. You'll be some of the hot spots, but that's not that hot for late June. Low 80s for Fremont and Redwood City, low 60s in Half Moon Bay, close to 70 in San Francisco with mid 70s likely for Oakland and the North Bay. A mix of a lot of 80s and some of the warmest spots making your way up into the 90s already by tomorrow afternoon. The Long range outlook does include that heat that is going to be building towards us, but mercifully it's not going to be too bad for the second to last weekend of the Alameda County Fair. Temperatures are going to top out in the upper 80s, close to 90 degrees in Pleasanton both Saturday and Sunday. But of course, if you're on the blacktop, at the Alameda County Fairgrounds. It's going to feel more like 188 degrees because that has had an accelerating effect. The heat risk is going to be spreading from the moderate category on Monday into the high category. This is essentially the threat of heat illness. That's going to be a source of concern Tuesday and especially into Wednesday. We even see some very high or extreme pockets showing up where temperatures could be approaching 110 degrees by Wednesday afternoon. Let's take a look at the seven day forecast and we do have a minor little drop in temperatures inland by the 4th of July on Thursday and then continuing through the rest of the holiday weekend. But that drop in temperatures sends us from around 105 degrees to still in the upper 90s, which is plenty hot. It's just not as crazy hot as the conditions we're going to have on Tuesday and Wednesday. Temperatures around the bay will increase, but here's the good news. We're not going to have gusty offshore winds to significantly boost the fire threat or to push the really hot air down to near the water. But temperatures in the 80s around the bay are certainly warm enough, especially without any air conditioning in some of those spots along the coast. Again, without the gusty offshore winds, temperatures will climb to the mid to upper 60s as we head towards Independence Day on Thursday. But you will see more sunshine. The fog is going to be kind of a minimal factor as we go through the first week of what is usually no sky July along the coast. <laughs>